following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers. This is the TFNG coming to you with a quick uh, collection update video. Um, if it looks like I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's because I'm trying to get the camera at an angle where it'll be looking directly at my face. And unfortunately, I can't uh, can't uh, get it to line up properly. So I'm still adjusting to this new camera of mine. It's on a tripod. It, uh, so just uh, bear in mind with me here. So uh, first up, so uh, I lost my train of thought there for a moment, but I'm, it's back on track now. So this is just a quick collection update video. Video I said in my uh, review last night of Transformers Legacy Leo Prime that I'm having to look for a new job right now. I went for an interview today, so I'm hoping everything will work out. So in the meantime, I may have to put my collecting on hold, hold until I know I'm guaranteed that I have found a new job but in the meantime this is my last uh, collection update Aiden I figured, figured this would be worth making a video over instead of just posting some pictures on my community tab uh, so the thumbnail of the video is kind of a giveaway to the first Transformers figure that I've added I get added here to my collection uh, this is three Transformers action figures I thought I was only going to be able to get two of them but I was surprised to find a third on eBay the other day so without further delay first up we have the most recently released Transformers Studio Series Leader Class figure to be released, and it is Leader Class 86 Dinobot Snarl. So yes, the fourth Dinobot has arrived. Snarl is my second favorite of the Dinobots after Grimlock, and that is because of the simple fact that Snarl's dinosaur mode is my favorite, favorite dinosaur of all time, the Stegosaurus. So yes, here is Snarl at last, and I'm thrilled to, thrilled to finally have Snarl here. Snarl only appears in the Transformers Generation 1 movie in three screenshots that only lasts roughly about, I want to say, uh, um, four seconds at most. So yes, basically for Snarl in the Transformers Generation movie, um, his screen time was roughly four seconds, and it's basically a case of if you blink your eyes, you'll probably miss seeing him. And that made a lot of Transformers fans and collectors concerned that we weren't going to get a leader class action figure of Snarl in the Studio Series 86 line. Some thought that maybe he might be released in the uh, Legacy Evolution line, but yes, uh, because of those four seconds of footage and those three those three screenshots of him, two in, of him in Stegosaurus mode, one in Robot mo mode, it was enough that Hasbro and Dakar Tomy decided that just like the other Dinobots that have been released so far, Snarl deserved to be released in the Studio Series 86 line. So yes, with Snarl down, that's four of the five Dinobots released. East, we only have Swoop to go. Now, the next Transformers action figure is one that actually came out several years ago. Oh, it's one that I could never find at a decent price for the size of figure that it was, but I finally found one on eBay. eBay, And so, released in the Generation Selects line, and this is the old uh, Generation Selects packaging dirt released during the Wolver Cybertron trilogy. This is one of the first Generation Selects figures to be released, and it is Deluxe Class Autobot Hubcap. So yes, this is the Autobot who's mold mates with Cliff Jumper, with the exception of having a different head sculpt. And this is one of the reasons why I'm thrilled to finally have Hubcap is because this is the first Generation 1 style action figure of Hubcap that I've added to my Transformers collection, and it's only the second Transformers action figure to have the name Hubcap that I've added here. Now the third and final Transformers action figure is one that's a real surprise. Right, and the main reason I got this figure is because... I was originally going to buy from the same seller that I got Hubcap and Snarl. I was going to buy the Studio Series Gamer Edition Voyager Class Optimus Prime action figure, but when I went to buy it, it was sold out. So I looked around eBay to see if there were any other Optimus Prime action figures going for a decent price that I didn't have in my collection, and I found one that, despite having to pay a, a twice the money that I would have paid for Gamer Edition Optimus Prime, it was worth the extra money to get this figure because this is such a rare and hard to find action figure figure that it made up for not ge releasing Gamer Edition Optimus Prime. Now this figure, unlike Snarl and Hubcap, is used. There's no box, no instruction sheets, but uh, this figure is a retool of an already existing Transformers action figure, so I'm fairly confident that I'll be able to uh, transform this figure without the instructions that Pong Sang heard was what was a piece of the figure, uh, figure being misaligned, but, but in play, so I missed my first opportunity at getting Gamer Edition Optimus Prime, but it was worth it for this even rarer and even more hard to find Transformers action figure, and so without further delay, everyone, I give you, from, from the designers of Takara Tomy in Japan, 
the Transformers Japanese exclusive Generation Selects Leader Class Star Convoy. So yes, here he is in all his splendor and glory. I have finally added Star Convoy. I've been wanting to get this figure ever since he was released back, back in, I believe, either 2019 or 2020 is when Star Convoy was released. And yes, I am thrilled to finally have this guy. This made up for my missing out on Gamer Edition Optimus Prime for the first time. Hopefully my second opportunity to get the Studio Series Gamer Optimus Prime won't be a won't be a miss and I'll be able to grab hold of him. But yeah, I am just thrilled to finally have Star Convoy here. For those of you who don't know who he is, Star Convoy is basically the final body type that Op Generation 1 Optimus Prime ha I'm had. This figure was released during literally the final days of Transformers Generation 1. I think the original Generation 1 Star Convoy action figure might have been released either in the year 1991 or he might have been released in 1992. The point is he was released literally during the last days of the Transformers Generation 1 franchise, right when the Transformers franchise uh, began the transition into Transformers Generation 2. And yes, I am just really thrilled to have Star Convoy here, uh, despite the fact that he's a retool of the Power of the Primes 2018 Leader Class Optimus Prime action figure. I'm thrilled with how he came out. Aim out, um, aim out. Unfortunately, the gold chrome um, a chest plate, and it does pop off. It's only a hairline of friction that's holding it in place. But yeah, I love the chrome paint, the gold chrome on that chest plate. He has silver chrome here on his head crest. As I love the bright yellow on the knees, that is accurate to the original Star Convoy action figure. And yes, this is a, sh a delight to have. And here, I'm just really thrilled to have it. Um, before I bought it, I contacted the seller to see if all the parts were here, and the seller told me that yes, as this figure is completed, the only thing that it didn't come with was the box and the instruction sheets, but I don't care because uh, being a retool of Power of the Primes Optimus Prime, it, it, it will hopefully make transforming Star Con Envoy not too different, different despite the new, newly sculpted parts. So yes, um, because he didn't come with his box, I will review, I will most likely be reviewing Star Convoy first of these three figures that I got today. I will then do Hubcap second. Again, but of course, I've still got the uh, wall of Transformers action figures from the Legacy line behind me that I still have to review. You, I won't be reviewing Snarl anytime soon because, as I said, when I I, I got uh, uh, Grimlock and Slag and also uh, also a uh, Sludge who's uh, over here here in the top corner, I want to wait until all five of the Dinobots are released and then I'll take them out of their boxes and review them all at the same time. So. With Snarl down, that's four out of the five Dinobots. We only have Swoop left to go to complete the eat the uh, quintet of five Generation One Dinobots, and I'm really hoping that Swoop will be revealed soon. So thank you guys all so much, and until next time, you guys stay safe, stay healthy. Transformer rollout. Goodbye, everyone.